Watering your indoor plants for the first time with a liquid fertilizer can be a daunting task. Let me simplify it for you. Hey, Lee here helping you become a better plant parent. This is the most common type of liquid fertilizer that you can buy. A general, all-purpose liquid plant food. The three numbers on the front, the NPK values, are usually something balanced like 20-20-20, but it's more important to be fertilizing your plants the right amount instead of getting bogged down in the specifics. You'll also want to get yourself a sealable, reusable, one liter plastic container. Even a spray bottle is fine as long as it can seal tight. Once you're home with your fertilizer, you'll want to look at the back or the side of your bottle and please read the instructions carefully. I use this Schultz brand and it gives two different options for feeding. Fill up your one liter container with water and add seven drops of the liquid fertilizer every time you water. Or if you only want to fertilize your plants once or twice a month, you can add 14 drops of the liquid plant solution to one liter of water, shake well, and water your plants as you normally would. Keep any leftover fertilizer tucked away until next time and make sure that the bottle is completely empty before you refill again or else you might be messing up your measurements. If you find yourself having to fill and refill this too frequently, then consider upgrading your bottle size and adjusting your drops accordingly. Keeping track of your fertilizing schedule is extremely important and being on time so that you can maximize your plant growth can be really tricky, especially if you have a lot of plants or you plan on using multiple products. I've created plant trackers to help you with this problem and links are down in the description below. Another really easy liquid fertilizer that you could use is this pump. Plants under six inches get one pump directly onto the soil and plants over six inches get two pumps. Or you could put four pumps directly into one liter of water and use that to water your plants. The instructions from this miracle Grow are to use it once a week to maximize your plant growth. One type of fertilizer which I would still consider a liquid fertilizer because it's water soluble is the fertilizer that's in the individual serving packets. I would encourage you to avoid these kinds of fertilizers because of the excess waste that they produce. Each packet is individually wrapped and the storing size for most people exceeds what they can handle in their home. For indoor plants, these packets take two gallons of water to dilute fully. That's almost eight liters of fertilizer water that you need to be storing at any given time. Some general good advice from people in the plant community is always to use less fertilizer than what's directed on the bottle. You may want to consider using half strength fertilizer, especially if it's your first time fertilizing. Under fertilizing is always safer than over fertilizing your plants and over fertilizing can lead to a generally unhealthy plant, lots of salt buildup or burnt tips on the leaves. Remember never fertilize a plant that's already unhealthy unless you already know that that plant has a specific nutrient deficiency. You can use half strength until you're confident that your plant can receive the full dose without any negative side effects. And again, remember never to use more than the recommended dose. In the winter, it is still important to fertilize your plants, although you may be fertilizing your plants much less than you would during the spring or the summer. Consider using a quarter strength of what's directed on the bottle. If you'd like to learn more about fertilizing your plants, you can check out these videos here. Like the video if it was helpful and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.